Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my week five weigh-in. It has gone really fast. I can't believe that five weeks ago I started this and declared it to the world. I can't believe how much weight I've lost in five weeks. So I just urge those of you that are looking at this for some inspiration to think about where you could be in five weeks too. So without further ado, let's get into the week five weigh-in video. So we dropped Oscar off at nursery and decided to head down to the Nays. And uh, it's been years since I came down here, but it was really nice to see on a clear day. You can see Southport and the dogs really loved getting out. It was just really nice. And I don't think I've ever seen the trig point there before. I think I'll have a look to see what that actually means. So I've come outside in a dress. But I wish I hadn't. I am quite chilly. Um, I'm a lot less fat on me, a lot less insulation than I used to have. Um, so I am feeling rather cold. Uh, but I was feeling really quite nice in the dress. So I just wanted to do that. Um, and I just wanted to let you know that I've actually stopped running um, for a couple of weeks. I found it really difficult. Um, so I've been doing loads of walking and uh, we've been doing three or four, five miles. And this week we actually went somewhere that I've been wanting to go for two decades. I can't believe I've never been. And you can see it from the M61 and I'm gonna take you with me now. There's a myriad of paths through Rivington Terrace Gardens that you can take up to Rivington Pike. Each path takes you through Italian lakes and uh, Japanese gardens. I wouldn't have been able to run up these steps six weeks ago or even last year but it was absolutely beautiful when we got to the top and it is one of the best viewpoints in the northwest really really windy as you can see with my little sock there dangling down i was so pleased to finally get up there that i had to kiss it so we've just been on a chocolate tasting session um i didn't taste any but it really didn't matter the guy that did the explanation was so descriptive with the chocolate flavors and i got to smell every single one that i actually felt like i'd had full experience it was a very strange considering i really love chocolate um, um so we've bought some and i will try it when i finish the plan but it's dark and i'm quite good with dark chocolate and <laughs> sweet <laughs> But it just gives you an idea that you can still do things like that, even when you're on total and you're not eating. I didn't feel deprived. It felt really good to not eat the chocolate, um, but still get the experience. So if you're struggling with certain aspects like that, just try and decide whether you want to put yourself in that position first. And if you do, make your decision not to have something and stick to it. Morning, it's weighing day. So last week I was nine stone nine, and on Tuesday morning I'd actually put a pound on, so I was nine stone ten. So we'll see what the scales say. Oh no! Nine stone seven. So I'm really happy with that. It's officially two pounds, so I'm really chuffed. So that's one pound, one stone and six pounds in five weeks. Really, really chuffed with that. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see any specific elements of this challenge and hopefully I'll be able to do that for you in the, in the coming weeks ahead. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.